Linda Tracy says she walked into Memorial Stadium here today without expectations. And by the time she left, she said she'd found forgiveness. Everyone was so genuine and open and it was an incredible experience. An experience that even two years ago, Brenda Tracy couldn't have imagined. A chance to step foot on the UNL campus and share her story of survival. I am filled with hope and I feel like a ton of bricks has been taken off my back. She even met a man that at one time she resented when she felt he didn't take her seriously. Now, after 18 years, Brenda embraces Mike Riley, even forgives him. He looked up, I mean, he said, hi, Brenda, and he smiled, and I just started crying, and I walked over to him, and um, he hugged me, and I just cried on his shoulder for a minute. Brenda spoke with Riley, UNL administration, and the nearly 150 young men on the Nebraska football team. I told them my story. I told them every graphic detail I could because I wanted them to be uncomfortable about it, and I wanted it to be very real for them. Afterwards, Riley sent out a statement saying, quote, Brenda has suffered immeasurable pain and has shown the strength and willingness to share her story. And Brenda says in some way she feels her story is already shaping the UNL athletic program because Riley told her it's a story he never forgot. He talked about, you know, back then that, you know, he's sorry about the way that things turned out and that um, it's made an impact on him and that he's uh, very much focused now today on raising good men in his program. And Brenda hopes universities everywhere will hear that message. I don't think today could have gone any better. I don't. Tracy's son has started an online petition to ban all violent athletes from the NCAA. If you would like to sign that petition or catch up with her on social media, just go to KETV.com. We provided a link. In Lincoln, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7.